everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for all of your support. Please remember to subscribe. So I've been getting a lot of questions about why Kofi and I made the decision to take Laya out of traditional school and homeschool her this year. So I just wanted to make a video about the five main reasons why we made this decision as a family. So I have to give a big caveat before I go through the five reasons we decided as a family that homeschooling Laya for middle school would be a good decision for us. The main caveat is that I was a college professor for almost a decade. Yes, I have had professional teaching experience. Also, sports was a part of our decision, and I'll talk about that in a moment, but I also was a professional athlete. The skills and experience that I have to be able to meet our needs in homeschooling are a part of the decision that we made. So I just wanna put that out there. But by no means do you have to have been a college professor to be a successful homeschooling parent. To be a successful homeschooling parent, I think that you just need to be a teacher at heart. I think that you just need to be a resourceful person and you need to be able to get organized and maintain structure. And I definitely will follow up with another video going into that in greater depth. The second caveat that I have to give is that Laya is actually not a full-time homeschool student. We are in a homeschool hybrid program at a local charter school. And in this model, she attends school two days a week and she's homeschooled three days a week. She attends with other students who are also on this hybrid model homeschool program. If she were homeschooling full time every day, I don't know that this is a decision that we would have been able to come to as easily. So one of the reasons we decided to take Laya out of traditional school and homeschool her has to do with sports. Laya has basically been playing soccer since she could walk. I often explain that soccer is our family business. My dad was my soccer coach and trainer and also my sister's soccer coach and trainer. And soccer is a very important part of our lives. We both played at professional levels. Laya also has a passion and interest for soccer. Contrary to what you might expect, I haven't been super intense or putting a lot of pressure on rapid development for her. I understand that this is more of a marathon than a sprint, so I've wanted her to kind of be gradual about the way she unfolds her passion for the game so that it can be sustainable. That said, she is reaching an age where the game is getting more competitive and if she really wants to play at a high level, at the collegiate level or beyond, it's time to dig in. Because both Kofi and I have had experience playing sports at that level, we also understand the level of sacrifice and intensity and commitment that's involved. So this was part of our decision making when it came to whether or not she should be in traditional school because we realized that in the homeschool or in a non-traditional model, she would be able to dedicate more time to developing herself in the sport of soccer. One of the main reasons we decided to do this is because we felt that at this stage for Laya, transitioning out of elementary school into middle school, we really just needed to pause and make sure that we are taking time on her development and living our values. This is something that means a lot to me. I just felt like she had reached a stage where there's so many conversations that we really need to have mother to daughter. And if she were attending school all day and then after school we were trying to do soccer and violin and the other kinds of activities that she enjoys doing, the busyness would get in the way of the mentorship that she needs right now. I think one of my biggest personal fears is just having empty values. I want to make sure that I live my values. So I thought I have the opportunity to step back from my own professional trajectory a little bit and slow down and really put this time into my child. And that is in alignment with the vision of motherhood that I have for myself and the vision that I have for the relationship that I want for us. Another reason why we decided to do this program is because I wanted to take stock of where Laya was academically and in terms of her own character development. Of course, I taught undergraduate education for so many years, so I have a clear picture in my mind of where I would like her to be and what skills I would like her to possess and the level of preparation that I have in mind for her when it's time for her to go to college. So bringing her out of traditional school and taking time to kind of go through her work with a fine tooth comb is just an opportunity for me to see how we are. Are we on course for the time frame that we have between now and when she goes to college? 
Another reason we decided to go with the homeschool model is because we really just needed to reevaluate our schedules and recapture some of the time. We are both, Koki and I, very busy with our professional endeavors, with our community service projects, the different things that are going on with us. The children are very busy with their activities and leadership programs, sports, music. So we were also really stressed with just a lot of busyness. And I realized that there's an opportunity for us to radicalize our entire schedules through a homeschooling model. I was getting really frustrated. I felt like after school, there was so much that I really wanted to still teach her, but I had limited time. And there was a competition for time between her projects and her homework and her exploratory learning and Lincoln's. And it was tough because it seemed like she was always getting priority because she's older and more advanced and a higher grade level. But obviously it's still important to continue to invest in Lincoln and make sure that he's moving along. So this was really a solution that I saw. We can do Laya's work in the morning. We have plenty of time for exploration. Even if something is going to take longer to explain to her, we have time to do that. And I feel confident and guiltless in the afternoon when Lincoln comes home, when I devote time and attention to him, assessing where he is and giving him the support that he needs academically and emotionally. The final reason why I decided to homeschool Laya is really a philosophical one. I wanted to take time to teach her how to know. Knowing how to know is a really important concept for me. It's one that I've spoken on many times. In fact, I gave a commencement address where I just focused on the idea of knowing how to know. I wanted to take time to expose Laya to multiple epistemological approaches because I think that's the only way for her to become a critical thinker. This means I have time to sit down and talk to her about philosophy, to sit down and talk to her about scientific approaches and scientific method, to talk about even more nebulous ideas like intuition as a way of knowing. We take time to go to museums and to go to science centers to really explore this idea of approaching and observing the world through many different lenses. I'm excited to share more videos about our homeschooling journey as I will be doing. If you're considering homeschooling, please leave a comment. I'd love to engage in conversation with you about it, about what our process has been like. I know one thing that really makes a lot of people feel nervous is that they feel like they don't have the patience to homeschool. I wanna leave you with this little bit of encouragement. When we talk about having patience as an instructor, it doesn't mean that you never get frustrated. It doesn't mean that you never get upset. What it means in my mind is that you sincerely believe in your heart that the student can learn and that you're committed to persevering until the lesson is absorbed by that student and owned by that student. So I don't necessarily feel like I'm a saint when it comes to patience. I'm sure my children will also give feedback that I'm not a saint when it comes to patience in the traditional sense in the way that we mean it. But when it comes to teaching, I do think that I have a patience in the form of a dedication to the instruction. And that's what I think you really need to have in order to be successful at teaching your child at home. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please leave any comments or questions that you have down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and remember to subscribe.